Hello, good morning, welcome back to a brand new video here from a kind of overcast Miracle Mountain. Although the weather report does say it's gonna clear up later, maybe around midday, so that'll be really nice. I finally got my tractor back and it's not good news. I'm very disappointed. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So if I open up the workshop, you will notice something different on the front of the tractor. You guys are probably thinking, why are you disappointed? You finally got the grapple that you wanted for your tractor and you're ready to get on with work. Well, I haven't been able to lift anything for the last week because I've twinged my back again. If you guys don't know, since 16 years old, I've been working as a cameraman. So constantly had a camera on my shoulder and then I did steady cam work, which is really bad for your back and I'm paying for it now. I need to do lots of back strengthening exercises and that is why I have a hot tub so I can soak and warm up my muscles and it really helps with kind of just relaxing the muscles in my back. But it's just frustrating because I was hoping that I could get this tractor, get the grapple and get straight on with loads of work that I put off for many months while I've been waiting for the grapple to be fitted to the tractor because I haven't had the tractor for the last month and a half in the busiest time of the year. But let me explain why the grapple is fairly useless. So as you can imagine, as soon as the tractor arrived with the grapple after waiting for so long, I was so excited to go on it I took it straight out for a spin and picked up one of the small olive trees that I cut down the other day. And you can see what happened here. Look at that. It's completely bent top and bottom all the way along. Even this bar is bent out of place and the whole thing is just basically warped. So it seems whatever person or whatever company built this made it out of cheese and has no idea what they're actually doing. The steel is so thin. Things that are made for a tractor, especially a grapple that is designed to pick up trees, needs to be strong. It needs to be over-engineered, not under-engineered. And the first thing I picked up, it bent out of place, which is just ridiculous. So I'm going to have to try and get my money back. I will be using it today to pick up some things and move around because obviously my back is hurting and then I'm going to take it back, drop it back to the tractor company that I use and I brought my tractor from. They're being really helpful to try and get my money back from the supplier who supplied this terribly made grapple. The welds are awful. I'm not sure if it's going to show up on here because it's painted black, but there's weld splatter absolutely everywhere. This paint just rubs off. Look at this. Rub that. It's all over my hand. It hasn't been properly painted. It hasn't been properly welded and it's just a piece of So if I was in the States, I'm scared to actually lean on this because I'd just be covered in black paint. But if I was in the States, or I was in the UK, I'd have 10 different grapples to choose from, all the different brands, and I would have selected the best one I could have afforded. The problem is with Portugal, it's really hard to get like specialist tools like this. This is classed as like a specialist tool for a compact tractor in Portugal. So to find this, they had to hunt high and low, and this is the only one they could find. And it's just rubbish. It really is just rubbish. But anyway, I'm going to warm the tractor up and get on with some work. I'm really looking forward to seeing this field clear of all of the burnt dead trees. You just get used to seeing it after a while and it's going to be brilliant having it all gone. I actually cannot wait. Whilst Theo's going to be moving all the stuff on the tractor, I'm going to move the small bits that are just too flimsy and irritating and annoying to try and get with the grapple. There's lots of little bits around and I'm really excited for this field to be not full of dead branches anymore, the dead olive trees that just serve as a constant reminder for the trauma that this place experienced, which was really horrible. And seeing this field thrive and be something much nicer than it currently is. And where I'm standing right now, 
I can see quite a few different little pieces for me to move. So I'm going to whack some gloves on because I don't want to get covered in ash and start to move them. Whilst the is, I think, I think I can, the camera's just gone black. There he is, already working. I'm having to walk around with my mouth shut because there's so many flies but they're trying to get up my nose as well they're absolute sods it's horrible I've inhaled so many over the last few weeks that I know that I need to keep my mouth shut don't walk around with my mouth hanging open and about 10 have shot up my <laughs> but it's a gorgeous day proper feels like spring it's sweaty my glasses are steaming I don't even know if it picks up on the camera it looks like the camera lens is also trying to steam as well and I've been picking up all of the small bits that are just a bit awkward for the grapple. But it's been so good for Theo because he hurt his back. Being able to sit on the tractor and still do all of this work but without putting pressure on his back is really good because if anyone knows if you live on a farm or a large property where you've got maintenance that needs doing all the time, the last thing you want is to be out of action and it's nice for us both to be back in action now i'm four months post-surgery so i'm feeling really good moving around it's really nice and i'm enjoying this clear up process and i said i was putting gloves on because i didn't want my hands to get all covered in ash but it's just getting through the gloves anyway they're just getting covered in crap so i'm tempted to just keep the gloves off because they're making my hands really warm and i don't know if the flies are being picked up on camera but they are swarming there's loads of old brambles in these bits and this bit's just come walked with me uh, and it's an old one from the fire, it burnt and dried out and they're just all tangled up with the, with the olive and making it a lot harder than it needs to be. Here he comes with the final load, the grapple, even though it has been a bit of a disaster, has managed to do what we needed it to do today. And we've got an absolute massive pile of stuff to burn now. Woohoo! <laughs> Look how much nicer the field looks and for scale. I've asked Bee to stand next to the pile. It's basically twice as high as her and it's absolutely massive. Look at this, it goes all the way around here. It's actually way more than I thought it was gonna be. It just keeps going and going and going. So that's gonna take a while to burn, probably about half a day. I wanna add as well, 
We're not burning this pile as is. We're gonna take it off and do a fire separate to it. Otherwise that would be the biggest fire to rival the ones they have at Christmas in Portugal. <laughs> so it's gonna be exciting to get rid of that. And just looking back up the field now, it's amazing. Is where I am now the animal enclosure we've got loads of branches that the goats have eaten the leaves off over the last couple of months and we have a massive pile of them now we're not going to burn the pile where it is because obviously it's where the animals live we don't want to fumigate them <laughs> so Theo's just on his way up with the tractor now I'm going to put the pull their fence down so he can come in with the grapple grab the stuff and take it to a spot close by but not in their enclosure where we can burn it So that is another huge amount of brush removed and that came out of the goat enclosure. Basically, that's everything that they've been eating. So all of the olive branches, the fruit branches and the grapple, it proved to me that the grapple is a game changer as a tool. This particular grapple, the one made of cheese, is not so good because it's bent even more out of a line. But it managed to do the trick for what we needed today and the manual labor involved in what I did this morning is absolutely ridiculous but with the tractor with the grapple easy I didn't even sweat one bit I'm really excited to share with you today how you can get a fantastic deal from Mondly but you've got to stick around till the end of the video to find out how you can get up to 96% off lifetime access in their spring sale but first I want to share some pretty cool things about Mondly. Mondly has over 110 million users and is ranked in the top five language learning apps worldwide and it has an incredible variety of languages to choose from. With access to 41 foreign languages and 33 native languages, you have access to over 1,320 language combinations to choose from. Plus, Mondly offers real conversations with its chatbot and speech recognition technology, giving you instant feedback to improve your pronunciation. 
And let's not forget about native speakers. Lessons and audio materials are recorded with native speakers, ensuring authenticity and proper accent formation. So if you're keen to learn a new language, then take advantage of their spring sale and start your language learning journey with Mondly today. All you need to do is click the link in our description or head to mondly.app forward slash the indie projects to get 96% off lifetime access. Take me where the sun is shining Watch the mist roll down the mountain The place we can go This time of year the leaves will change Holds a beauty I can't explain The place we can go We can dip our toes into the stream Watch the light dance perfectly It can feel just like a dream Take my hand and make it reality So it's the next day and remember a couple of videos ago I was at John and Lauren's farm helping them out so John's here today helping me with a load of burning and you can see the fire is well and truly going I only started the fire probably about 15 or 20 minutes ago and we're really getting through it thick and fast. Like David in the temple, I want to bring you praise. Like David in his temple plans, your ways are not my ways. You don't need me to build a temple to know that you love me still. Oh, oh, oh. Like Israel on the shore, all I see is crashing waves. But like Israel on the shore, through the wild you make a way. I will go where you go, I will stay where you stay. I have just set up the chainsaw because in this field right at the front there is quite a lot of burnt trees and that is because this is where the fire actually entered our property and it's a real eyesore and also a fire risk as well standing dead dry trees are a fire risk so I want these gone and that will complete the field just looking beautiful and green once again. So I'm around the front porch surrounded by friends Music playing in the kitchen It's just loud enough to dance The sun shines through the branches Like a diamond in my hair I see how lucky I am Dinner's on the table A few candles left to light The stories we've been saving Gonna take all night The moon shines through the window Like it's giving Every high and low, every beat in my heart, every mile of road got me this far. The harder I try, the better it gets. I do it all for So things are going amazingly. I've already got a UTV full of firewood, which is amazing. And everything is burnt down to nothing. So we're really cracking on. But right now 
I'm gonna cut a big problem tree that I've wanted to cut for a little while, a couple months now. It's dropping its branches, it's completely dead, it's dropping its branches on the workshop roof, so it needs to come down ASAP. excitement of everything that we were doing we completely forgot to continue filming which is unlike us considering we've been doing it for such a long time but we had a fantastic day we got so much done and I'm going to show you the big pile of twigs and branches that we'd moved from the goat enclosure we burned that as well and this is what's left of it pretty impressive it's really good to get that done and dusted and now we can move on with other tasks as spring is definitely here now so thank you so much for watching today's video if you haven't already please subscribe go follow us on instagram the links are in our description or just head to the indie project on instagram and 57.acres and we'll see you on the next video bye